guys, welcome to Brick System Brothers. I'm Nathan Masters, and today I'm going to be talking about this character. His name is Tintin, and uh, it's not my character. This was created by a Belgian named Hergé, and he was created along with many other characters for his comics, um, The Adventures of Tintin. So these have been around for a little while, but we haven't seen anything officially produced by LEGO to follow these adventures. Um, there are a few things and ideas, and I'm going to look at those in the second half of the video. But this first part, I'm going to look at this character that I've created based on the comics and some source material to kind of get some coloring and, and discuss about that a little bit. So first thing is going to be our actual comic set box, which is a handy reference here. So yeah, a really nice, you can find these box sets on Amazon right now. Um, there are 23 completed um, comic. They're kind. Of, they're like little books. They're not really long. And then there is a 24th one that has been left incomplete. Um, but they are. They're really enjoyable to read. And uh, Hergé's style is very. Um, at his at the time, it was kind of revolutionary, and it's very recognizable. So, um, reading through Tintin is, is a good pastime and I've really enjoyed reading them through the years but yeah so we, we do have this um, reference kind of right up front here so maybe just do really quick comparison before I move on um, the pants could maybe be a slightly different shade of brown but this dark orange works pretty well and then that blue um, could maybe be blue with a little more uh, teal almost in it but I don't have any Lego torsos that color teal without any printing and so I thought this blue worked a little bit better um, and there is a kind of a white vest on there we'll see in a minute that's kind of relevant but I do wish I had just a, a plain blue torso um, at, some, at some point and then the other part of this minifigure that I am really glad we have now is the hair and this hair was available in fact has just become available in um, our build a minifigure selection. That little tuft on the top I think really captures the, the one part of this character that's hard to get with just plain Lego hair. Um, and we don't really have a great printed face to represent Tintin so I've found this one and I think it works pretty good. Okay so now that we've compared that with our uh, official box let's look at some of the actual comic pages. And the first one I have to look at is from, uh, I believe this is Tintin and the Picaro story. Um, but I think this is a favorable comparison. I do want to swap this torso out real quick for a slightly different torso. So here we see that these orange pants work really well. And now this light blue torso works really well in this particular comparison um, just how these colors go together and then if you look really closely here you can see that there's a, a little bit of a white collar that would uh, kind of match up if I had this one on still but it doesn't it isn't a great match so I think putting this lighter blue torso on is probably a better fit for the character however uh, this light blue and this dark orange I think don't quite go so well um, so that's maybe where I would I wish we had this um, kind of azure blue color without any printing I think that would look okay but it is a little bit dark for this character so that's from that's from one reference and then I've also found I've also found another one um, this one is from the seven crystal balls comic and we have kind of a slightly different scene here. For the most part, Tintin wears this light blue uh, shirt with a white undershirt and a brown kind of darker orange pants. And that's what we see pretty much throughout the comics. There are a couple variations. I think some of the earlier comics he was wearing uh, yellow at some point. In different adventures, he has different disguises. but. This is by far a majority attire. Um, and I just wanted to look at this one real quick because some of these scenes, it almost looks like we could get by with using maybe a dark red or 
uh, a dark brown, dark tan. Maybe not, these don't quite match as well. That dark red is actually closer in this instance than the dark orange. It's almost exactly between. So, just a couple of things to note looking at um, my version of Tintin. And these pieces aren't particularly hard to find if you want to build your own. I think the hair is probably going to be the hardest one if you uh, don't live near a Lego store. And of course right now they are closed in the U.S. So you'll have to wait for that. But we started seeing these uh, last year in November. I think I got this one in Minnesota at the Mall of America store. And then this light blue torso is a little bit older. Um, I got mine from these um, Fantasy Knight, Knight's Kingdom 2 line from like 2004. So they're around, um, maybe a little harder to find. And then I did go with the tan skin color. I think that matches better than our typical Lego yellow. Um, and these dark orange pants, um, not quite sure on the availability of those. Okay, so that is my version of Tintin. Let's look at what we have on LEGO Ideas right now. So LEGO Ideas, uh, if you're not familiar with it, is just a place where you can submit your own LEGO set, and if it receives enough fan votes, then it can become an official LEGO set. And we just saw that with uh, Pirates of Barracuda Bay. So that was the most recent one, I think, that went all the way through, and then there's a bunch in review right now. But to find the Tintin, um, the, the current ones with the Tintin theme, just search for Tintin. And there's actually a surprising amount that we have in the review state or in the voting stage right now. And uh, we do see a couple of the same builder are submitting different um, Tintin themed ideas. So this Mini Brick Productions. Um, has these two, which are, I think, some of my favorites. And then uh, this Mohan guy has a couple, and Joris310 has a couple of different ones. And uh, we do see kind of a range of different ideas from the different Tintin adventures. So first one up is uh, this one by Mini Brick Productions. I think that's... Yeah, productions. And this is based on the Explorers on the Moon comic. But uh, I just want to look really quick at how they have designed their Tintin minifigure uh, in particular. So I think it's the same dark orange, and then this hair with the, with the curly Q looks really well for the minifigure. And then they've done a, a new official print idea and a, a new head idea. I think these work really well with the minifigure, so if LEGO does, uh, if we do end up getting a Tintin set approved, I hope that we can see these new prints. So that is the Adventure, or uh, what's it called? Explorers on the Moon. The other one by this guy, Mini Brick Productions, is uh, the 90th anniversary, which is kind of more of an all-encompassing Tintin set. And so we see maybe some of the other characters, um, but the design actually has changed for the hair which is now this kind of spiked up hair so maybe trying something different there um, personally I prefer the other the other kind that I've used um, I think it just matches the character better uh, I did want to look also at this guy uh, Lachi1023 and he has a very similar Tintin minifigure um, looks like a, Probably a custom design here. A couple different, there's actually kind of a conflicting faces, torsos, slightly different. Um, but he has also used the spiky hair, or whoever. Um, so, yeah, a couple different ways that this could go. I do like the, the, the Tintin in this rocket one. I think that's probably the closest we could get in Lego form. So if you've never read Tintin, I highly recommend it. Um, even though they are a lot older uh, than what we're kind of used to, I think the stories are still great. And there is also a animated movie um, that really they really went into the detail and they stayed true to the characters 
it's definitely worth watching in my opinion so um, you should check that out but I do recommend reading Tintin and hopefully someday we can see an official Lego version. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.